thought I would do an impromptu unboxing of the adorable Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot Mini. I just got this today. And to give you an example of how tiny it is, there are literally seven pennies that can fit on here. <laughs> it's much smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's still adorable. So, uh, it's so freaking small, I can't even believe it. Let's take a look at the cards and the back. Here's the back. And the front. Okay. And this deck was on Amazon, I believe, around eight bucks. So, um, I'm thinking this will be good for doing relationship readings. The manufacturer uh, is Lo Scarebo, and I already have one of his decks, the Taramuka, and this is uh, made in Torino, Italy. So, um, let's take a look. Let's see if I can open it. I'm going to pause this maybe while I try and open this it open it's um the tab is really stuck in there so i didn't rip it uh i don't think i did so let's take a look at the cards um they come out like this there's a little book here tiny little book little guide and the nameplate card which has um uh, a little thank you Thank you letter here, and an invitation of some sort. Okay, and then we have the cards, and the first card is, um, this is the nameplate card, this is the little thing on the back, so, put those over there. This is the, uh, I'm guessing the Fool. Which is this little girl. Isn't that cute? They're very whimsical. And I'm just going to go through these. Here we have one. I'm guessing this is the Magician. The Major Arcana. The High Priestess. This is going to be... Um, okay, now you're going to test me. Let's see. Three, the Empress. We have number four, which is the Emperor, little Napoleon, on his rocking horse. And five is the Hierophant, and we have this crazy little monkey guy. So cute. The Lovers. And this has to be the chariot. I've got a little guide here, just so that I don't mess up the order. And this would be justice? No, sorry. Yes, justice. Some of the illustrations may not make sense uh, at first, but... Um, Seeing as this is a house of cards of some sort, and she's balancing on them, that kind of makes sense to me. I'm, I'm going to have to study these a lot more before I start doing readings, obviously. We have the Hermit. Number nine. And we have number ten. The Wheel of Fortune. And number 11, the hangman. Number 12, okay, I really messed this up. Sorry, this was strength. So we went from the Wheel of Fortune, number 10. Number 11, strength. Number 12, 
is the hangman. It says, suspend your disbelief and surrender to a new way of looking at things. Expand the limits of your consciousness. And she's kind of like a little puppet. Um, number 13, death. Number 14, temperance. Number 15, this has to be the devil. Number 16, the tower. And this is a card that you'll probably see in a lot of the... Um, if you if you Google the Chicoli Tarot, uh, you'll see this card come up a lot because it's one of the more popular cards. Um, where were we? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We're at the star. Love it. Number eighteen, the moon. I don't even have to look that one up. Number 19, the sun. Twenty is judgment. Twenty-one is the world. And that would be the end of the major arcana. So we're just going to uh, put those aside and quickly go through. These would be, this would be the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Six, the Seven, well, Alice in Wonderland there, the Eight, the nine and the ten. All right, we have another one. Oh, uh, yes, the little page of cups. This will have to be the page. And if you look closely, you can see that they have a little icon here. Um, I believe that's the page. This would be the knight, the queen. And the king. And now we go into the pentacles. Is that right? Yes. Ace of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight, Nine, Ten. All right. Now, what are we getting into? Um, I hope that I did this right, because I, let's see if I can tell here, we did pentacles and this, we did cups, so then this has to be wands. We're still in pentacles, I'm guessing then. Okay, this is the page of pentacles. Sorry about that. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, oh, love it, and the um, King of Pentacles. Interesting. And here we have the Ace of Wands. We're going into Wands now. And this is the cover on the deck. And the uh, Two of Wands. 
I'm really going to have to get into the, uh, here's the icon. So that's how you know it has a little wand there. I'm going to have to get into the meanings of behind the imagery here. Three of wands, four of wands, five of wands. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, whoops, Nine of Wands. Now these have, these are a, I'd say, uh, uh, maybe 60 to 80 pound cardstock and they've got a gloss on them. So, uh, they're fairly sturdy. I love the uh, production value on these though. The colors are great. Ten of Wands. Okay. And we've got your Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. And your King of Wands with the little fire reading dragon. All right, into the swords. Your Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. She's balancing on that tightrope. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. These are so funny. Five of Swords. Uh-oh. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Uh-oh, are we missing some? No. You've got your page of swords, your knight of swords, there's your queen, and your king. I love these, they're so uh, dramatic and different, and they remind me of an artist that I love. Um, I can't remember his name right away. But uh, this artist, Nicoletta Ciccoli, is fantastic. And like I said, it comes with a little guidebook here. So you can read all about the messages in these cards. So that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.